Hi guys, welcome to the first real episode of the CD Zone. I'm now about to explain to you the first sub-series of the CD Zone, which I call Unplayable. In Unplayable I will work my way through the worst rated games on Newgrounds to try to find the games that are worthwhile playing but underrated. I find these games by clicking on Bros All Games, then sort them by score and then go to the last page. The way this show works is that I have a quick look at multiple games and play them for a bit of course and when I'm confident with my first impression the game uh, left me with so far I will rate the game one of five different ratings. When a game is in fact so horrible that I cannot think of a single good thing about it it will get the worst possible rating which is called unplayable. When a game has extremely ugly graphics awful controls, huge gameplay flaws, major bugs or glitches or stuff like that, but is still not completely dreadful, then I will rate it unbelievably bad. The rating uninteresting goes to games that function perfectly well but are completely uninspired or simply pretty boring. When a game features interesting game mechanics and or interesting gameplay but doesn't do enough with it, then I will rate it unpolished. But a game that is rated unpolished still has potential, so you should try it. Once in a while I will find a game that plays great, has great gameplay, good graphics, good sound and all that, but has no ratings at all, so it's at the bottom of the list. Games like that I will rate as underrated, which is automatically a recommendation for you to play it and rate it. Now that you know how the show and the rating system works, let's get right to the show. Alright! Whoa. Whoa, that was loud. Alright, let's dive right in. The first game is Castlevania 10. And the starting stream look the uh, starting screen looks not very nice at all. Adante Manutropo. Yeah. Does something happen right now? Do not... Does not look like it. Is this the game already? Oh! Alright! Doesn't look like I can jump. I cannot jump, it seems. Holy... What the... Okay. Well, I have an idea what I will rate this game. Run into my flying sword, you bastard. Oh wait, it actually works. <laughs> okay, there was there was a zombie right there. You can do me no harm in my flying row of swords. <laughs> bastard. Okay. This has to be the worst sound ever in this situation. Come at me, bros. Not able to jump, man, is ready. <laughs> that that thing actually got me. The sound is awful as well. Okay. The flying swords do not stop the fireballs and I have no idea how I can get this guy. There's a blinking heart. Oh, I, I can jump. It's Z, of course it's Z. Okay. I cannot 
use my flying swords anymore. Oh, it's eggs, okay. Holy hell. Take that. <laughs> I have no idea how to beat this guy. Starting to feel like you cannot beat this. What? Oh, okay. You gotta love the sounds. Okay, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> this is awful. This is completely awful. This is unplayable, I say it. I mean, I mean, look at this. Controls to some degree do work, even though... Eh. But I mean, the music is completely ripped off of Castlevania. I hope not, but I believe it's so. But I think the... <laughs> Have I mentioned it's incredibly loud now on the speakers? But I mean the fact that the attack is this is the most important factor of the game I have to say. Yeah. I mean look at this! You cannot tell me this is intentional. So yeah, even though you can walk and jump in this game even though the jumping is awful I will rate it unplayable, I'm sorry Moving oh on well. What's this one? This is called Prehistoric Dungeon Family Oh, the games factory This looks familiar, I have To puke right now, I guess <laughs> So when does it... Okay, this here is my mouse. Where do I have to click on to start? Okay. I don't think I have to say right now that I'm confused. Oh, okay. When I click an owl appears with a frog sound. Okay. Reminds me a bit of Day of the Sunfish when I'm completely honest. Quack it out. What? When I press shift this guy appears. But I can not do anything else. There are ships. I can... Well. Frankenstein's monster does a, a tap dance right now. Or a river dance I suppose. <laughs> and there is a shaking hand. So how do I advance here? Do I have to drag something? Okay, when I compare this mess here to the game I played prior to this, Castlevania 10, then I have to say Castlevania 10 worked better because there you can actually attack stuff and but I will not uh back off the rating I gave Castlevania 10. In fact, I think I give this one the same rating. This is unplayable bullshit. I'm so sorry, but look at this. I cannot advance, but I can make this kneeling Hitler here uh, disappear. Hocha! <laughs> so since I cannot advance, I guess 
I'm done with this game, but I will try again just to make sure that this is not just a bug. So I'm reloading the page again. Okay, adjusting the camera. This will do, I guess. I have now found my own famous, uh, not famous, my favorite developer. So where do I have to click to start again? I, r I really have to say the starting screen is actually the worst part of the game. This is confusing without... Uh. Maybe I just have to wait a bit. I, I, I like the guy that's punching the fire uh, above there. But I can not get my mouse over him because at here I cannot go up further. Yeah, I, yeah. like I said, unplayable. Look at these guys flying. What do I have to do here? I I can only wonder, I guess. Now the game doesn't even start. Would be nice to tell me how to start the game. Let's look at the description, shall we? First frame. You must be part of the family. I move on the tornado. I have to drag the tornado, really? Okay. Okay, so at least this game actually explains itself in the description. And I guess I have to destroy all the ships. But I can only do this with the owls. So now uh, Frankenstein does river dance in the other direction. I have a chair right here. I can make uh, kneeling Hitler appear with a nose glass, I guess. Have this hand. What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, all set quack. We got this. Collect the hand and use the chair to plant wonderful dancing agents to the screen. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to play as this guy here. But the fact that actually nothing functions in this screen makes the complete thing unplayable. The rating was clear uh, from the start this time, but I just wanted to make sure this is not a um, game-breaking bug. So now he dances in the other direction, so I guess it was indeed a bug and is a bug, but it's one that actually breaks the game. So yeah, there you have it. Prehistoric Dungeon Family is unplayable. Okay, this game is called Rock Rage. It starts immediately, so I was caught up a bit of guard there. But you actually missed nothing much. Because the game is playing itself right now. The, the ball starts at the top and clears everything up until these three things that are left here. Oh, okay. One thing left. It's aggravating. And C X spacebar. Yep. When the ball is gone, it's gone. So to find out what happens when you actually clear everything, let's restart, shall we? Oh God. I looked at the description of this game prior to playing this time because I wanted to get eventual cryptic things right out of the way. So yet now you can see the beginning. I actually know how to place this thing because it plays out exactly the same way. Every time. 
I can tell because this is exactly what happened the last time. You kidding me? Even the ball flies in the exact same directions every time. And when I saw this right, the ball flew right through my paddle. Oops, sorry. Spit right into my mic. But this is what the game makes me do, you know. I will try a l one last time to determine if this game is in fact unplayable or just unbelievably bad. Because, you know, all the description said it uh, was, this is a class project. And now when I look at this, I have to guess that the class he mentions is the uh, yeah, grand school. I don't think so. This is the p uh, class project for uh, the programming class of... <laughs> oh god. Exact exactly the same thing happened to me. Twice now. <laughs> so yeah, I since the ball I think flew right through my pedal there, I will give it the unplayable rating as well. Three unplayable games. This is a great debut. Yeah, but not bad for a class project f of elementary school, I guess. This joke is not as good when you tried it three times prior to the delivery, I guess. So, yeah. Rock Rage. Very, very bad game. I have a bad feeling about this one. This is Hillbilly Bongo School. And it's made by the game Factory 2. Oh, God. Yep. What the... Okay. I guess this is a sequel to the game I played before Road Rage. I actually like the music there. I go over stuff and stuff happens. This is a very awful f I have to collect stars this time, okay. Billy, finish your dinner. I'm not eating a... Thank God for this L right there. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not allowed to hit the holes. But this plays very badly. A bit like soccer and awful. But this time around it's a bit easier to understand this time. What I wanted to say... Uh, prior was that I actually liked the music of the title screen which was a remix of Spirit of the Hawk but I'm not sure if they did it themselves and I would guess it's not the case. Cook Mouse to play Bongo I guess or Bong Comet. They wrote click wrong but I guess I have to give him that one because I'm speaking English very badly right now I just have to click what am I trying to achieve here uh, I, I guess I have to get this thing which seems to be a pair of teeth into the explosion in the middle. Ah, yes. Now it's 43 to 1, 44, 45, 46. How long am I going to do this?
even though this game is still very horrible and confusing, I have to say it's the best one so far. Every time I click... okay. What the... Cannot go down. Ugh. Okay. Roof. By now. Mm, save. I had to click the save, really. Oh, I have to click a lot of m other things. What am I trying to achieve here? Well, the sounds are horrible, the gameplay is horrible. It's confusing as all hell, it's cryptic, but... When do I make points and when do I lose points? I would really like to know that. Ah, okay. I guess I have to keep them off my screen, my side of the screen, and hit the other one. Yep, this is definitely like Day of the Sunfish. When I click, it actually... <laughs> okay. <sighs> what am I doing? Decorate your... Newly wet house or press R to rebegin switches design. Ah, oh, okay, I beat the game. Since I could. Okay, I, I like the music track in this screen, but the game itself plays horrible, it is confusing, it's cryptic, it's awful. The sound design, especially, is very awful. Spirit of the Hog. Yeah, uh, this song at the title screen is the best thing about it. And you can actually beat the game without any bugs. So this one is unbelievably bad. And since I want to end on a good note, I will leave this song on for a bit. But this was the last game I cannot take anymore. <laughs> Three unplayables and one unbelievably bad. So not a very good debut but I guess this is exactly what you came here for so enjoy the song for a few more seconds I'm signing off now right now until the next CD zone <laughs>